What's up everyone, Evan here. Today we're heading out to the Hoosier National Forest to do some camping, cooking, and a little poda activation on the side. Pull up a chair and come hang out around the fire with us. Alright, so we just got up here to our favorite spot out here in the Hoosier National Forest. This is Kilo 4483. We've activated and camped here quite a few times. Um, since this is a national forest, it's free to be able to camp out here for up to two weeks. And we're got, we got lucky this time, and usually the spot on Fridays is, uh, is taken. It's it's pretty neat area. You see my son Zane back there? Say hello, son. Hi. And then um, this is where we set up. We set our tent up and, and our tarp and our pop-up and stuff always right there in that spot. And you can see this big long trail that we came down. Um, in the intro video and then unfortunately we got up here um, and there must have been some young punks that came up here and were drinking and having a good time which I'm all for that but uh, please always make sure you pack out what you bring in um, so the garbage we'll take care of that that's not that big of a deal um, they also brought this uh, junky looking old rocking chair and that's not a big deal either we'll take care of that too it's wood and it's going to be chilly out tonight. But really what I'm aggravated about is somebody came out here and they decided that they were going to spray paint uh, this big maple tree here. And that that aggravates me quite a bit. Uh, but, you know, it's just uh, an example of, you know, people doing things out here that, um, you know, potentially could ruin it for the rest of us. You can see here how um, the... Um, Forest Service has this particular area blocked off. If you go down this trail here, uh, there's a pretty good sized uh, pond to fish in, uh, but you can't bring your vehicle down there. So, you know, when people come up here and they do stuff like this and they leave their junk, they leave their, um, you know, their, their trash, their food and bottles, and then spray paint trees, uh, it doesn't take much for the Forest Service to decide to, decide to uh, block off the entrance uh, to the trail that you've seen us coming up in the beginning of uh, this clip and then ruin the fun for all of us. So um, we'll take care of the mess the best that we possibly can. And then hopefully, you know, we, uh, we don't see any more trees or anything else that's been uh, defaced. So we're gonna put the camera on the tripod and uh, Zane is gonna show you uh, how he sets up the tent and we'll come back and visit when, uh, when we got camp ready to go. All right, so we're back with you, and my son Zane is going to show you how he sets up our uh, Coleman Instant Cabin Tent. This is a, uh, a four-person tent, and we typically use a uh, Marine Corps two-man combat tent, but we decided to go this route uh, for this trip to have a little bit more room. Um, so Zane will show you how he gets it up, and um, it's pretty quick, so... That's about all there is to this one. I'll help him spin it around here. Let's get the door facing the right direction. All right, you ready? Yep. Try to get it centered over the top of the park there, buddy. Yep, it hit the tree. <laughs> all right, how's that look? Hold on. Make sure we're not going downhill too much. We need to pull it this way a bit. Okay. 
pull that one back there just a little bit towards you know, towards this way just a bit to get it off that hill. Yeah, you go. All right, cool. All right. So we'll get some stakes put in the corners, and then we will uh, go ahead and start getting all of our bedding and stuff in there. But this is a pretty neat tent, and uh, does a pretty good job. We've never really gotten wet in it. You get a bit of condensation from the sidewalls in this thing, which is unfortunate. But it's big enough and we're short enough that it doesn't make too much of a difference for us. I'm about 5'8 on a good day and Zane's still growing. So um, Usually our bags don't touch the edge of it, but we do use down uh, backpacking quilts. So you don't want to get those things wet. So we just need to uh, be careful and uh, make sure we put our, our air mattress in there the right way. But We'll be back here in just a little bit and show you uh, when we got camp uh, the rest of the way set up. So hang on and stick with us. So someone made a really uh, hateful comment on my YouTube channel on one of my videos and it really, really hurt my feelings. Um, talking about how my battery box build was really just a battery in a box and it had no practical use. So after I got my emotions together, uh, I wanted to take a, a video here and show a practical use of this battery box other than operating portable ham radio. So you can see my son there and he is blowing up our air mattress that we're going to sleep on and he's currently using the 20 amp hour battery box that I built. So see, it does have a practical use other than just being a battery in a box. All right, so we got camp all set up. See the boy there processing some firewood for this evening. We got uh, one of my Coleman lanterns out here. I really like these things. I collect them, refurbish them, and use the heck out of them. This one, I think, is a 70, 77 model. I've got some older ones that go back into the 50s. 57, I think, is the oldest one I got. But uh, here's our setup. This canopy's a lifesaver. Uh, we got that screen down there, and we were talking about it on the way down here. We weren't sure if we were going to need it, but boy, I tell you, the mosquitoes are worse tonight than they were all summer long. So, uh, pretty happy that we brought that along uh, so we don't have to deal with them when we're cooking and wanting to not deal with bugs. But uh, this is our, our area where we do our cooking and stuff, and see, we got a Coleman oven uh, on there. We're going to be doing some uh, some bread in there with our stew tonight and uh, some uh, brownies I think my son picked up that he wants to cook for dessert. Uh, got the radio hooking up here. Uh, we're doing some park-to-park -park contacts. Got a couple more hours to try and get it activated today. I think I got four or five of them in there I'm on uh, 40 meters at the moment. But uh, just using the uh, mag mount on top of the CRV there and we'll look at that here in just a minute and then our, our tents all set up Zane did a good job he does uh, all the stuff inside so uh, I know we're looking through two sets of screen but you can get the idea there's a air mattress in there and our 15 degree uh, backpacking quilts down quilts I uh, don't think we'll need the full capability of that tonight but you never know a better safe than sorry so Zane's over here done a good job getting the firewood ready. We did bring some from home It didn't have any bark on it. That's a, a rule out here because of the ash borer beetle, but use these little backpacking chairs that we don't bring backpacking because they're heavy, but We use them around the fire pit and you see the trash that we got to clean out of there before we get our fire built, but um, This is um, the back of my Honda CRV you see here and I drive this back and forth to work I drive 120 miles a day uh, from where we live out in the country to Louisville, Kentucky for work. So I don't like driving the Camaro uh, So I drive this thing and we we decided to outfit this thing with pretty much everything We need to pick up and go camping in a hurry and you see those totes down there on the bottom They've got our cookware or dishes or everything everything's inside of them So we don't have to grab a whole lot to go. It's pretty quick and easy and it works out really well So we don't forget stuff because uh, it's really easy to do but yeah, here's the here's the vehicle and see it's just uh, sitting there next to the uh, the pop-up and then you see ham stick on top of it Told you I'm a proponent of the ham stick man. They're great. I love them So that's it for now. We'll come back after a bit But uh, just wanted to show you the setup and what we've done so far 
All right, so we're heading down to the pond here. This is just a short walk from camp. Pretty neat little area. Got to have a fishing license if you want to fish here. Unless you're my son. He's uh, young enough that you don't have to worry about it. The mosquitoes are absolutely terrible. And it's funny because really the bugs had not been that bad all year. And we spent, geez, every, every weekend during the summer of the kids' uh, school break out in the woods. And the bugs really were, were pretty reasonable except one trip we went down to uh, Lake Monroe. And the black flies were so bad it was unbearable. But no mosquitoes. It just all of a sudden they're uh, they're miserable so sun will be going down here before too long we're getting ready to get a fire going and then we're gonna cook dinner but once the, uh, the sun goes down these little buggers will they'll take off I don't know that I do any swimming in here uh, if we didn't live in Indiana you'd probably think there's alligators in this uh, this little pond it's covered with lily patties uh, but it's still pretty neat. Zane said he's going to take a dip on camera. No. He's going to swim across the other side and see what's over there. No. <laughs> I'll get you in a if I fish. I'd be more worried about snapping turtles, but. Oh, yeah. Anyway, you can see. Already the sun's in there, but pretty neat little pond. It's small, but you can do a little fishing in here, I'm sure. I don't know that I want to eat anything out of it, but nevertheless. You better be careful, might be a shark on the end of that thing. Pond shark. Is that a fin? I think I just seen a fin. Do you see that? Dun dun, dun dun. All right, what's up everybody? So we're getting ready to get out of here uh, from the Hoosier National Forest. We had a pretty good trip. Got three activations in, uh, put uh, probably like 50 or 60 contacts in the log. I'm also working on a kilo from this park too. So that should put us pretty close to 400 uh, or somewhere close to halfway. I don't remember how many I have. There's three or 400 I think already from here. So. Um, anyway, we had a good trip. We we're doing uh, some cleanup, trying to pack out the stuff that others failed to do. So uh, we'll leave this place in better shape than we found it. But uh, appreciate you coming along for the ride. I hope you enjoyed the footage and uh, like and subscribe if you did. There's plenty more to come and we look forward to putting some more content out. So thanks and uh, we'll talk to you soon.